Hello again, Richard Bridges, ERA Blue Diamond Realty, the owner and leader of the Bridges team. Thanks again for joining our weekly video blog. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about some information extremely relevant to Prince William County current residents and folks looking to move to the area in the near future. This morning I was in the Prince William Association of Realtors um, um, meeting this morning and Corey Stewart, who's actually the, uh, the supervisor, uh, actually the county uh, chairman of the Board of Supervisors, he was there to talk about the budget that was actually passed last night. So this is real time up to the minute information that hasn't even been released via press release. So you're getting it first here at the Bridges Team's blog. Some of the changes that are going to be going in effect for this fiscal year, they're going to be lowering the tax rate from 1.236 to 1.204. It's about a three cent difference. And you are going to see the tax assessments for the first time in five years go up. Okay, it shouldn't translate into too many more dollars and cents in your monthly mortgage payment. However, it uh, because of the tax reduction. However, if that's if that trend continues into next year and the year after, you'll have to keep that in mind for your uh, for your future payments on those taxes. Uh, the budget also incorporated a new Gainesville Library and Montclair Library. The most important one is the Gainesville Library because of the huge growth we've seen out in the west end of the county. Also, as part of the uh, the budget, we're going to see a park uh, off of the water in Occoquan, the town of Occoquan. You go down to the end where the water tanks currently are for Fairfax County. They will be removed, and a park on the water will be uh, created there. So it would be very, very nice those of us who are familiar with or have been to the town of Occoquan. As of April 1st, 2010, the census indicated there are 402,000 residents in Prince William County. In the last year, they've estimated an additional 10,000 have come to Prince William County, giving us a grand total of about 412,000 residents in Prince William County alone. That's larger than the cities of Minneapolis and Cleveland. By next year, they're anticipating our growth should be larger than the city of Atlanta. Okay, so we're not a small fish in a big ocean anymore. We're becoming a large county. The growth is there. The job market is there. And that segues right into my next topic that Prince William County as of last year was the number one in job growth in the state of Virginia. Number two on the Eastern Shoreboard and 17th out of all the counties nationwide. So that's great news. There's a lot of employment, steady employment here in Prince William County. Um, some other things, some big complaints that Corey Stewart had said that he had heard coming from Fairfax and moving to Prince William County was that there aren't really any walking trails, biking trails, anything like that with, with asphalt services, um, surfaces. They are planning to, uh, to build several, uh, several loop-like uh, trails for biking, walking, running, any of those things that are going to be over the 10 districts within Prince William County. So look for those. Construction is anticipated to start almost immediately. And finally, there's going to be about a half a billion dollars in road improvements set aside in the budget, about half of which is coming from Prince William County and the other half which is coming from the state, uh, the state budget. Those improvements are going to include Route 1, the expansion of Route 1, the, uh, the, the widening of it, a 123 overpass, um, I-66, they're going to continue the widening out to Route 15 out in Haymarket. The University Boulevard out in Manassas is going to connect with Sudley Manor. And finally, the Prince William County Parkway, they're going to extend the expansion currently in effect from Old Bridge to uh, Miniville Road. Uh, so those are all things to look forward to. should help with the, the transition and infrastructure in the county and all are things that I'm excited with. So I was very, very happy to hear those things. And you're hearing it first here at uh, the Bridges Team's blog. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below at the Bridges Team website. Or you can call us directly at 888 55 B team. Thank you so much for tuning in and until next time.